Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is vast. It contains hundreds of billions of stars, many much older than our Sun. Around these stars orbit countless planets. It's reasonable to think some planets could support life. Some life might evolve into intelligent beings. Some might develop advanced technology. The universe is incredibly old, giving plenty of time for civilizations to emerge. With so much potential, where are all the aliens? This is the heart of the Fermi Paradox. The paradox is named after physicist Enrico Fermi. He famously asked, where is everybody? Fermi wasn't the first to ask this question, but his simple phrasing made it a cornerstone of discussions about extraterrestrial life. The paradox highlights the contradiction between the seemingly high probability of extraterrestrial civilizations and the lack of any evidence for them. The Fermi paradox isn't about proving or disproving the existence of aliens. It's about understanding the vastness of the universe and our place in it. It challenges us to consider the possibilities and limitations of life as we know it. The lack of a definitive answer only deepens the mystery. There are many possible solutions to the Fermi paradox, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. One possibility is that interstellar travel is simply too difficult. The distances between stars are immense, and the energy required to travel those distances is staggering. Even with advanced technology, it might be impractical or impossible for civilizations to traverse the vast gulf of space. Another possibility is that aliens have visited Earth in the past, before humans evolved or were capable of recording their presence. Evidence of their visits might be long gone, eroded by time and geological processes, or perhaps they are here, observing us in ways we don't yet understand. Some scientists propose that alien civilizations might choose not to contact us. They might see humanity as too primitive or dangerous. They might have a strict policy of non-interference, preferring to observe us from a distance. Imagine a galactic version of Star Trek's prime directive preventing contact with less advanced civilizations. It is also possible that we are looking for the wrong signs of extraterrestrial life. Our current methods focus on radio signals and other electromagnetic emissions, but what if advanced civilizations communicate using methods we haven't discovered yet? Our current technology might be like trying to pick up a television signal with a crystal radio. Could aliens be hiding in plain sight? Their communications beyond our technological grasp? Imagine a civilization so advanced that their technology appears as natural phenomena to us. Their signals might be woven into the cosmic microwave background radiation, the faint afterglow of the Big Bang, or perhaps they communicate through subtle manipulations of gravity waves, ripples in the fabric of space-time. Their technology might be so miniaturized and efficient that we mistake it for natural objects. Microscopic probes powered by quantum effects could be observing us right now, transmitting data back to their civilization in ways we can't even imagine. Their cities might be built on the quantum scale, invisible to our eyes but teeming with life. The idea of undetectable aliens is both fascinating and frustrating, it suggests that the universe might be teeming with life, hidden just beyond our perception. It forces us to confront the limitations of our senses and our technology. We are constantly developing new tools and techniques to explore the universe. But what if we are looking in the wrong places, with the wrong tools? Section 4. Rare Earth. Are we alone in our intelligence? Another unsettling possibility is that intelligent life is incredibly rare in the universe. The conditions that gave rise to life on Earth and eventually intelligent life might be a perfect storm of cosmic coincidences. The right type of star, the right distance from the star, the right planetary composition, the right sequence of geological and biological events. All of these factors might need to align perfectly for intelligent life to emerge. Perhaps in the grand lottery of the cosmos, Earth drew the winning ticket, and we are the only ones here capable of pondering our own existence. This idea, often called the rare earth hypothesis, is both humbling and daunting. It suggests that we bear a unique responsibility for preserving and understanding the only known example of intelligent life in the universe. The possibility of a lonely universe, devoid of other intelligent beings, raises profound philosophical and existential questions. What is our purpose if we are alone? What is the meaning of intelligence in a universe that doesn't recognize itself? These questions have no easy answers and challenge us to define our place in the cosmos on our own terms. Section 5. The Great Filter, A Cosmic Dead End A particularly sobering explanation for the Fermi Paradox is the Great Filter Theory. 
This theory suggests that there is a barrier or a series of barriers that prevent life from developing beyond a certain point. This filter could be at the very beginning of life's emergence, making the jump from non-living matter to simple organisms exceedingly rare. Or the filter could be the development of complex life itself, the transition from single-celled organisms to multicellular life forms. It could even be the development of intelligence and technology, suggesting that civilizations might inevitably destroy themselves through war, environmental destruction, or other self-inflicted catastrophes. The great filter theory raises a chilling question. If the filter is real, have we already passed it or is it still ahead of us? If we haven't passed it, then our future might be limited, and our efforts to reach out to other civilizations are doomed to fail. The Great Filter serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the challenges facing any civilization that seeks to survive and thrive in the long term. Section 6. Our Future Among the Stars, A Paradox Pondered The Fermi Paradox has profound implications for humanity's future in space exploration. It reminds us that the universe is vast and ancient, and our place in it is still largely unknown. It challenges us to think critically about the possibilities and limitations of life as we know it. It also encourages us to be humble in the face of the unknown. We are just beginning to explore our cosmic backyard, and there is much we don't know. The paradox doesn't offer any easy answers, but it does provide a framework for asking important questions about our place in the universe. It encourages us to keep searching, keep exploring, and keep listening to the cosmos. The search for extraterrestrial life is ultimately a search for ourselves, a quest to understand our origins, our potential, and our destiny in a universe that seems both empty and full of possibilities. As we continue to explore space we must do so with both optimism and caution. The universe might be teeming with life, or we might be the only ones here. Either way, the future of humanity depends on our ability to understand our place in the cosmos and to act responsibly as stewards of our planet and our species.